Right here I have this automatic dog or cat feeder. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what it looks like. So you can see this is everything that came inside the box besides the user manual. We have the charge cable as well as the wall unit right here. And there is a little plug-in spot right here in the back in order to plug that little cord in. There also is an option right down here if you don't wanna have this plugged in to use some batteries. So I do like that it does have that option and it does have these little non-slip grips on the bottom as well. I'm gonna be using this cord. I do like how nice and durable this cord is. It's kind of covered in that rope fabric and it is a really nice long cord as well. So I'm gonna plug this in down here. And then this can be easily removed so you can take this out and wash it if you need to. And then it does have this little bowl right here that you can easily remove as well. So if you wanted to use either of these, you could, you can take them both out to remove them just so you can keep them nice and clean. And this just sticks right under here. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the basic features first before we get into some of the neater ones. So you can see there's a little button right down here that has a little food bowl on it and you're just gonna push that to dispense the food. So you can kind of hear it's making a sound like it's dispensing some food. I'm gonna try this out with actual food in a little bit. I do like that in this container you can see how full or empty the food is just using this little clear see-through window. And you can take off the top by pressing down on this little button right here. You can take this off. You can see there's a really large space to put your food down in there. And it does have a little spot on the bottom that it pushes the food through. I did wanna show you when you open up the lid, there is this little space right here. You can see you open this up and it does have this little pack in here you can open up and put in here just to make sure that the moisture stays out of your pet food. So I do like that. Then to put this back on, you're just gonna fit it right back into place. And it clicks right back into place. So let's go ahead and check this back panel. This is kind of where you're gonna set up all of your information on the actual feeder itself. I like that it's on the back so that you don't have to worry about your pet accidentally pushing any buttons or any kids pushing any buttons. You do have to long press on this down arrow in order to unlock the screen, which I do like that feature. So now we can see it is unlocked. In order to set up your time setting mode, you can actually set it up so they can receive their breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or whatever their feeding schedule is. So you can set this and you'll be able to set it up to a time or a time frame or a number of hours that's gonna work for you. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just setting up the time that it is right now. So it's 11.45, so I set up that time first. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set up the actual automatic feeding times. So first of all, you're gonna select how many feedings you actually want per day. And so I'm going to, let's see how many you can actually do. You can set up to six different feedings per day, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and set up three for like a breakfast, lunch, and dinner schedule. And now it's letting me set the time for each of those different feedings. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those times and let you know what that looks like. So I went ahead and set up these different food schedules. You can see I have them all set up here. I have one for 8 a.m. I have one for 12.30, and then when I have one for a little bit later in the day. And then one of the features that I think is really cool is that you can actually press this record button and you can have a little voice message to your pet when it does have the automatic feeder, just to let them know to come get their food. So I'm just gonna record a little saying that I think he will be familiar with to be able to come over and get his food. Reggie, come and get it. Reggie, come and get it. Okay, nice. So that way I have it all set up, so that's gonna automatically make that sound when the food actually drops. I'm gonna fill this up with his dog food and get it set up and I'll show you how it works when it comes time for his next feeding. Reggie, come and get it. Reggie, come and get it. I did want to note that there is a function in the back that you can actually set up the amount or the size of their portion and you can select any size from a 1 to a 20 just for size reference or amount reference that was a size 2 portion which is going to be perfect for our small pet but if you don't did want more food or if they were only fed one time for example you could definitely do a larger portion which is nice. I did like that it said the calling cue for the pet to know when their food is ready and that it could be a familiar voice that was really nice. If you did want to do manual feeding, you can just push this button twice. Ready, come and get it. Ready, come and get it. And that's just gonna go ahead and automatically feed the number one portion size. So I do really like that option. Overall, I feel like the learning curve for your pet is super small, which is really nice. He already heard the food. This is the second time it's come out and he's already excited about it. 